Hi, welcome to TechStep. In this video, we're going to complete uh, the configuration for our, our Apache portion of our web server. Um, we assume that you've already met the prerequisites and you've installed an Ubuntu server and you've uh, completed the previous session on uh, installing a LAMP stack. So you've got uh, your Linux Ubuntu with your uh, Apache, your PHP, and your MySQL installed. And um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at how we can have more than webs one website hosted in in this space. Um, there are other ways of doing this. Um, one of the, the the main ways is using it, the virtual host file within Apache, but to, that requires that you have some some DNS working. Um, so for a development environment, this is a, a great method to go about it. Um, so what we do here is uh, we actually we we create couple of subfolders in our web root so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to create two subfolders in this case we're going to create one for Joomla and we're going to create one for WordPress we're not actually going to install Joomla or WordPress but we're just going to show how we would go about creating the web space all right so we've created two uh, two folders in our web root and uh, now we want to create some indexes in those folders so let's create a Joomla index and let's also create one for our WordPress. All right, we've created our, uh, our indexes now. We wanna do a little bit uh, of work with permissions to make sure that uh, both our, our web server and our, uh, our user are able to, uh, to read and write from files to and from the directories. So let's go ahead and set our user permissions. So what this is doing is it's, it's recursively setting permissions for the web folder. Anything in that HTML folder and down are going to be owned by the user www-data, which is Apache. And the group that will have access to that folder is the group administrator, which is my user. All right, so we've given, uh, we, we've set our, our, our ownership of those permissions, but we still have to set some, some rights within those folders for those users. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our, all of our files and folders in our web root, read and write for the user's www-data and administrator and read and executable for everybody else. Now this again is recursive so it'll apply to anything that's within those those folders in the in the HTML folder. So if you've installed a whole bunch of, of files in your in your web root and they, you know you want to make sure that you've got the permissions set so that both you and your web server can access them, just run these two commands again uh, the the chown and chmod okay uh, right so the next thing we're going to want to do is put some uh, let's put some data in our index so that we're able to uh, to call it up and verify that it's working so uh, you'll be able to copy these commands from the uh, the description below the video or from uh, the, the content uh, below the video on our, on our website all right so let's go ahead and write that to our index for Joomla and we're going to want to do something similar for our WordPress index root uh, index file so let's go ahead and uh, and do that for our WordPress all right so we've written those two files now our, we have uh, an index in both our WordPress and our Joomla web root and we should be able to uh, to go ahead and verify that so our WordPress would be at our host name or IP slash WordPress and our Joomla would be at our host name or host IP slash Joomla so let's take a look now in our uh, in our web browser how that works out. So there's our web root from our previous video, and we're going to just uh, make a quick change to our URL here. We're going to suffix it with let's look for Joomla first. Oh, there is our Joomla web root. It works. And how about our WordPress? It too works, so we can see now we're in uh, the WordPress word root, and those are the differences between those two files. All right, so that's really um, the, all there is to uh, to setting up multiple um, web roots within your HTML folder. Um, please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching.